I'm going to baptize this in that lake. Context, I'm about to give you the long version, but the short version is I'm starting my own clothing company from this single denim jacket to hopefully an empire with a storefront in New York City, completely vertical manufacturing, and a big old plot of land to farm on. We're gonna see if I can pull it off, and I'm gonna vlog the entire thing. Right now I'm in Canada, picking up the first ever sample of the jacket from Naked and Famous, the manufacturer. Update, the jackets will be going live on September 16th, midnight, EST. You should sign up at theironsnail.us because you'll be entered to get a free limited edition jacket that only one other person will get. You can double your chances by following the Iron Snail on Instagram and subscribing on YouTube. All the other information that you need will be provided next week. Then we launch. So let's go. Thank you for listening. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you liked the video that I posted before, the shorter one about the jacket. The goal right now, I slept later than I wanted to, but I have to check out by 11. It is 8.30, so I'm gonna shower, clean the Airbnb, then go explore outside because we haven't done that and try to get out of here by 11 and we're going back to New York today. So we have a lot of driving ahead and I'm super tired. I keep falling asleep. Oh, what's this? Something is messed up in there. This is my Airbnb host, Eric. We became good friends, and his size is a perfect medium. So, boom. Yeah, it looks great. Just arms down like this, like this. Yep, perfect. And it's bound that this should last a lifetime. Probably, yeah, exactly. Right? Like the iron snail. And they're a raw iron fence company. <laughs> yeah. And what are you growing here? What is all this? Carrots, uh, lettuces, scallions the highest in antioxidants really? on the planet basically really Super I've never heard of most of those berries no they're 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 not that well known I mean the apothecary these are two of the nicest people I think I have ever met there this is, is the first yeah. oh my god this is I the first one definitely definitely wear this it's denim that will then it softens once you start uh, start wearing can we buy one this is what you made isn't it it's really yeah. well made too so Oh my I used to God, get, when I was living in the States, make. I always had my CDs printed up here. Not washed right now, that's why it's so stiff. But yeah. when it is washed, see how you can see the threads are kind of different sizes? They own all of this land, and everything in their apothecary is from their land. Like, all their herbs and berries and everything like that. So, I dropped some fat stacks for Miss Taylor. I got her three soaps, skin therapy, a honey clay face mask, salvation cream, six flower face exfoliant, bergamot serum, salvation, but it's actually a salve. So there's wax in it, so it's a little tougher to break down. She's very excited. I text her about it. Taylor says hi, by the way. She's coming to the US soon, so hopefully she'll be in a video. This video is sponsored by Huckberry and straight sex appeal by me. I didn't know how to film B-roll of towels, so I, I just thought I would wear one outside. Today we're looking at onsen towels, which are fascinating because they are made to reduce mold, mildew, and general stink by drying you off very, very fast and then drying themselves off very, very fast so bacteria never grows. Also, they're a little funky. They show you care about your towels. But anyways, waffle towels trap moisture better and dry quicker than other types of towels and they're also much more lightweight and breathable so they stay fresher longer. These are long staple cotton. They come in a lot of amazing colors. Check out the link in my description if you want to check these out. Everybody needs cool towels. Anyways, here's the video. Okay, before anyone says anything, I'm actually a size small. But sometimes I like to get mediums to size up a little bit, and this is the sample of the Iron Snail and the Prologue. Because I saw it when it came in, I was like, what is this? This is so cool. And then I was like, oh, it's not Oh, you bad. think it's cool? I haven't seen it. I have no idea. Starting from today, where I really have no idea how to do anything, and then hopefully... Oh, wow. Check this out. It's so nice, right? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I really, really love it. See? There it is. Type three, ignore all this stuff. That's all. That's funny, because I was like, who, like, is this for a special customer? The snail like, series. Yeah. Also have the denim itself is drying, or it is already dried. And the reason I was panicking wasn't because I wouldn't be able to get the jackets made. Well, that was actually the main reason why I was panicking. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen it. It's so nice. Look at the little... Oh, yeah. Detail. I hand-aged all of these. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah, I sanded them all down. Like, even this little detail here. The salvage on the car. Yeah. Collar. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Wow, it feels weird to see. Mooney is the first employee of the Iron Snail. Are you ready? Yeah, we're rolling. All right. 
Oh, check that jacket out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sample size for the jacket is a size medium. I wear a size small, so it looks a little big on me, but luckily, Mr. Bayzad is a size medium and he will model it for me. Okay, like, perfect. I'm five foot eight, like 163, 164 pounds. Mm -hmm. So. It looks great on you. Yeah, it's a perfect fit. Orange stitching, actually, if you look at the logo that I always put up for the Iron Snail, that is, this is as close as I can get to that color of stitch. So it's in the jacket. Riveted pockets, so that way they're very tough and they won't go away. And then we have the tag on top that says bring this along, even if you aren't cold, a certain someone may like it. A few people at Naked Famous asked me what that meant. I oftentimes always bring a jacket in my car because Taylor gets cold. So I thought it'd be a nice note to put there. I'm going to baptize this in that lake. My Airbnb, or that tiny pond. I don't want to get my other sleeves wet. I'm outside my Airbnb, I'm just saying goodbye. Oh, well, let me you go then. Okay, can I call you right back? Goodbye, Airbnb. Well, I guess that's my Airbnb. Goodbye, grass. Come on, babe. Time to show you America. My Airbnb host just ran out and stopped me. Great meeting you and seeing you and uh, great meeting you. have a great trip back, eh? Thank you. I'm looking forward to your music. I just yeah, had an idea yeah. that I could I could put well, some. Well I was gonna in. say, and anytime you know, if you want to do any publicity for for your stuff or whatever, you're more than welcome to it. I love to. See we just got this is this is a uh, black black walnut leaf. It's anti uh, 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 fungal and, oh, and wow. bacterial and what we do is dry that and put that in the oil before we do the maceration. Bye. See ya. Boy, oh boy, do I smell horrible right now. Uh, I'm so much less stressed being back in the US, even though it's literally Canada's right over there. Okay, well, the big exciting place that I was gonna go back to was the Vermont Welcome Center. Remember that we went up there? But for some reason, Apple Maps, took me to the bottom, so I can't go up there. So anyways, I'm gonna go, I saw a cafe down the road, I'm gonna go there instead. They're closed. They're also selling the business, and I can see why. <gasps> I'm so hungry. What if I just started crying on the vlog, out of nowhere? Okay, Alan team calls the local DC. This whole meal only cost me $12.53. Do you know how much that would be in New York? This would be like $600,000. So I got a veggie wrap, I got a smart water, just in case I didn't say anything I needed to yet, and then this cookie. I was trying to think of a joke when I would come back in with the cookie and be like, oh, and I got a tiny snack for the road. And I didn't say it, so I guess that's over. But when I thought of the joke in the store, I I was started laughing by myself, just walking around holding a giant cookie. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, they're gonna love that. Anyways, back to a brookie. We have four hours to go. Goodbye, car. Great job this week. Home.